I'm not the fuck face in this scenario. Unfortunately. Now, the people watching are the fuck That's face. exactly what I was about to say. <laughs> Also, have you loaded your world up, or are we going into mine? Um, I don't know which one you want to go into. I couldn't give a fuck, which is oddly uh, the title of this playlist, Seven Fucks to Give. <laughs> I couldn't give a fuck. Well... I'm loading in mine. Okay. We're, pl we're playing my world because we got many bikes. Well, as long as we're not in Wayne's world. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll do a Scooby Doo ending. I don't get what you're referencing. Wayne's World, where they do the Scooby-Doo ending. I honestly haven't watched Wayne's World. I just know it's a reference I can use. Oh, you haven't even watched Wayne's World? Damn. But at least it was relevant as a reference. <laughs> <laughs> at least I didn't use something fucking off the wall and completely irrelevant. True, true. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I gotta send you an invite. Yeah, that too. <laughs> and I gotta stand here and look pretty until you load in. Oh dear God. While you're loading in, I'm gonna go and push uh, my phrasing? Taco Bell up. We need to find a shitload of fucking meat. <laughs> oh dear God. Not that burp, though. That's a good one, though. Dude, you know in Japan, if you don't slurp their soup, you're um, disrespecting them. Actually, that's with Japan, China, Korea, Vietnam, a lot of the Asian countries. It's a sign yeah, if you don't... of appreciation, respect, and honor to the chef. Yeah, which, which I think is kind of weird, like... It's like uh, a whole bunch of guys or fucking families up in, in a restaurant going, <laughs> Dude, that gets so fucking annoying. Oh, did you know that in Germany, belching loudly is a sign of appreciation to the chef? Yeah, which I, I was like, I was like, nice. <laughs> just be sitting oh. at the table, just... <laughs> Chef would be like, good job, good job. Uh... Have you loaded up in yet? Phrasing. No, no, I'm still totally waiting for the server to crash. <laughs> Seven fucks to give episode four. We're waiting on the server. We're, and we're stuck oh, in the load screen. Server. Did I mention the load screen? <laughs> Sung to the tune of Weird Al stuck in the drive thru. Did I mention the load screen? Load screen? Load screen? <coughs> I'm still stuck in the load screen. No one then. And then, 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 and then. So and then. And then. 
dude, what does mine say? Sweet! No, dude, what does mine say? <laughs> dude! Dude, what does mine say? Sweet! <laughs> what does mine say? <laughs> then they're fighting over the shit. <laughs> no, dude, what the fuck does mine say? It's sweet! <laughs> dude, what does mine say? DUDE! <laughs> Shut the dude, fuck up! Yo, he said sweet! Yo, he said do! Get the fuck out of my store! <laughs> ah! I'm blind! <laughs> Everyone who's going to be watching this on YouTube, you can't see what I see on screen, but there's this big blue fucking bar with numbers and symbols on it stuck in front of my goddamn hot bar in the game. Mixer, fix your goddamn shit, micro fucks. <laughs> God, fucking idiots. Put some fucking transparency sliders on that shit. Yeah, that's the bad part about it. Yeah, because if I move it to the left, it'll be over my health and stamina bar. If I put it in the center, it'll be over my goddamn motherfucking hot bar. If I put it on the right, I don't know what the fuck it'll be over. It'll cover the, um, cover the, what resources you're gathering. Ah, fuck it, who cares. I'd rather it not cover the hot bar. I normally put it on the right middle. Like when I when I do the chat or whatever to show who's talking and shit like I that. I don't have chat enabled on my Xbox. I monitor the stream on my laptop and I have chat on the the fucking laptop. That's that's fucking fine. Oh, nice. Yeah, because fuck having chat enabled on the goddamn Xbox itself. That's like 28% less of the game I'll be able to see. Fuck that noise. <laughs> and, you know, Deadpool might say bring the noise, but I'm like, no, fuck that particular noise. <laughs> I don't mean in the fun way, Deadpool. Totally phrasing. Dude, where the fuck are my shrooms? Um, I ate them. You what? I didn't do it. You said, you just said you did! You don't got proof. I'm recording that you just said that... Fuck off. <laughs> what, your in-game shrooms or your actual shrooms? I don't have actual, as you put it, shrooms. Ah, uh, damn. It's gonna tell you send me some. I just... Actually, the mushroom should be be there. We need more dirt. Why do we need dirt to actually make mushroom spores? When in real life, you can just thump the fucking mushroom and the spores fly the fuck out of it. Don't ask me. Hey, this this area now has better lighting. Finally. Does it? Yeah, it took reloading the damn game. Like, never mind, it doesn't have better lighting. The lighting's still totally broke.
Yes, the lighting is still totally- STOP FUCKING CALLING ME! GOD DAMN! Bitch. <laughs> and no, I'm not talking to Shin, he doesn't have my phone number. That's what he thinks. Okay, fine, smartass. What's my number? I don't want to tell the people it. I don't give a fuck. I'm just fucking with you, I don't know. Exactly, I called your bluff. Why do I need your number? All I have to do is fucking yell at you on Xbox. Until I mute you and walk the fuck away from my console. Yeah, one of the two. No, but that's just stupid. I wouldn't tell you. I mean, I wouldn't tell you. I wouldn't do that. I would tell you and then I would do that. That way you know that I'm doing that. So that all your yelling past that point would be equally pointless even to you. Because you would totally still yell after that. Yeah, probably. I wouldn't doubt it. Excuse me. Your character model appears to be in my way. What do you mean? Nothing. <clears throat> My character model's not in your way, what the hell? Never mind. <laughs> Was my character fucking in the midst of fucking standing up top? Hmm. Wait, what? It takes two mushrooms and one piece of dirt and I only get two seeds out of it? This is not a sustainable fucking thing. This is totally a fucking joke. This is a placeholder fucking mechanic. Because the fucking use of the dirt needs to go the fuck away entirely in the seed recipe for mushroom spores. Yeah, pretty damn much. We have 46 pieces of meat and zero eggs. Last time I was in your world, we were lacking meat and had eggs. What kind of voodoo magic did you do to transform the eggs into meat? Um, no, we ran out of eggs. Last time we were in my world. Because you made me like, I think, 15 or 17 bacon and eggs. I remember doing that. A lot of bacon and eggs, I remember that. Then we ran out of eggs because, well, I mean, you got the... I got the... I got, had deer meat, you had the deer meat, then you had the, um, the bear. Yeah, I remember the bear. Then you came back and made a shitload of fucking bacon and eggs, and and that's what happened to all of our eggs. I don't remember that. I remember, and I've been drinking today. And that's the difference between us. I'm I not drunk enough to drink. remember. <laughs> Actually, I think we were drinking that night. What's this wee shit? Is it... I haven't had a decent fucking drink in months. You are drinking something that night. It weren't alcoholic. Oh, well, you are drinking. Oh. And well, that's your fault. No. Yes. It's society's fault, Paul. Society and the swans. 
don't blame it on the swans now. Blame it on fun pimps. I need to get the shit fucking together. Well, they can't do that as fastly as we want them to, but we can definitely bitch about it. Oh, I'm gonna keep on bitching until they get it done. You know what I'd like to bitch about right now? How I just swung my axe at this previous tree and two times hit the thing behind it while aiming directly at it. <clears throat> I've done that to a rock. Be facing towards the rock and fucking be pulling up, um, what is it? Um, dirt. And then suddenly fucking uh, plant fibers. Yeah. And I go, um, swinging at a rock. How am I pulling up this shit? Magic? I guess so. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's been five days since I've been at the town, but I'll go to the town. I'm just going to run over there. Gotta get the athletics up, you know. Oh, come on. Get off the damn fucking wall. What wall? There's, there's one of the fucking walls and rocks or whatever that I was fucking on. Damn shit, do you want me? Um, I'm hitting. You said we need this blueberries, right? And getting sand from behind it. <laughs> nice. Fucking beautiful. This is gameplay. And I noticed as soon as as soon as I started recording and posting videos of this shit, fucking like. The next three days after that, Markiplier started fucking posting shit of him and Bob and Wade fucking around seven bucks to give to. <laughs> and, and you know what else? I noticed that as soon as I posted videos of me playing fucking uh, Portal 2, you know. Jacksepticeye just starts doing that two months later. Well, technically eight <laughs> months later. They just want to copy you. That's what all the fucking idiots do is copy each other. They're going, oh, look, yeah. I watched this person do this and I won't do it now. Yeah, like... One time on my previous channel, YouTube fucking deleted. I left a, a fucking paragraph dissertation on um, Lin Linus's tech tips, telling him about uh, why are all these idiots grabbing fucking uh, graphics processors to go off and make fucking cryptocurrency miners so they can make. Or, you know, custom make a fucking piece of hardware specifically designed for cryptocurrencies. And, you know, three days later, after that comment, he comes out with a video talking literally about ASIC's custom cryptocurrency. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh, no last, fucking shout last outs time I played this, I got a auger schematic. I think I remember that. So I got, I got pretty much, um, fine auger parts. I think, don't we have a, um, we got, um, another small engine, don't we? I have no clue. I don't know either. What the hell? 
there we go. Oof. For a minute, I was gonna say, what the fuck, man? How can I not go out the way that I came in? You know who actually did thank me and give me, you know, fucking credit where it's due for ideas I've given them? Who? Oh. The jackass that everybody calls Satan. You know, I half-assedly gave an idea for him to use in the creation of this thing everyone's calling the coronavirus. And he actually did implement it. That's after all the other things I suggested that it already done. True, true. The fuck are you saying true asshole. for? You weren't there for that. No, I'm saying truth to my mind. My mind's erasing right now. I'm alone. Where the fuck did I get night vision goggles? Oh wait, them are the Night vision goggles I was selling. <laughs> well, need a kid. You know what pisses me off? Is when you search something, it's fucking empty. When it says untouched. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Although technically, to give the game credit, if no one in the game's lore touched it, then it shouldn't have any... Yeah, but it's an apocalypse world. They're gonna put houses in there. They have to have shit in the houses. Have you ever heard of raiders? Yeah, but we created a world where where nobody else is in here except for the fucking um the fuck faces. Yeah, they're the only ones left to raid any damn thing. And they don't even leave their fucking um shop though. How do you know they don't teleport the fuck out of there the same way they teleport us out of there when they close the shop? I guess so. And that, well, that is retard logic. Well, the fuckers That's... need to quit teleporting everywhere then. No, no, that logic I just used on you. That's retard logic. Or it could be genius logic. Never know. No. For the context of this game, it is fucking retard logic. <laughs> the only way it could ever be considered genius logic if, is if we were playing a fucking game based off of Rick and Morty. True. Because he actually can teleport. Oh, I got another shotgun receiver. How the hell is there a fucking tree in the garage of a house? I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, a similar uh, thing happened when I was playing um, 
Yeah, back on my previous channel, or well, one of the three previous channels that YouTube just saw fit to fucking delete for no fucking reason. Um, I was playing Subnautica. Oh, uh, Subnautica, or mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. So, uh, the random bits that they had to go in and fix, because, you know, I did fill out a fucking... I maxed out the character count on the report for the in-game report option to report bugs and glitches and shit. I maxed out the character count on that so many times. Eventually, I got to the point where I was just referencing them a timestamp in a video <laughs> that I was recording, which they no longer have access to because YouTube is a little bitch. So anyway, <laughs> YouTube is always a fucking bitch. What I ran into was uh, those those little outcrops, like shale and limestone and shit, that spawn in. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the, they randomly spawn in on the side of a fucking mountain out of my reach. And my thing about that was, okay, yes, RNG is a nice little tool that can be used, but you don't have the proper things in place that bracket where the RNG goes that keeps it within this boundary and that boundary. It's just going everywhere, as you can plainly see from this, you know, fucking outcropping being on the side of a mountain beyond my reach. And yes, I could just build a fucking, um, staircase of, uh, fucking base parts up to it and get it. No fucking problem. But the point of the, the whole dissertation that I'm giving you is that RNG should be fucking moderated, not allowed to rampantly roam around where it pleases. Yeah. There's, there's a quote. In moderation, anything is good. And a, a good example of that is fucking arsenic and cyanide. If you moderate the dosage level, you can kill a lot of parasites inside your body without killing yourself and without getting lethally fucking ill. I learn something new every day. Yeah. There is such a thing as a non-lethal dose. This is not happening upstairs. Oh, nice, it's Horde Night. Horde Night without any zombies. Oh, sir. Oh, holy, damn it. There's parts up in this bag. Did you just say Wowzer or Bowser? I don't say anything like that. Damn shit. What did you say? I said holy shit. It's Horde Night. Zombies are coming! Phrasing. Wait, that doesn't... to make my way back to the house so I can drop off all the good old shit that I found.
And these birds nesters not wants to give me eggs. I'm gonna choose to misinterpret that as this chick isn't putting out. I'm talking about the bird nest up in the damn game. I'm gonna choose to misinterpret that. God. <laughs> Damn, 58 feathers. Oh, well, there we go, two eggs. Oh, so that bird's running around nude. <laughs> Four eggs? Guess he just got a bitch a lot. Who would have thought bitching gets things done? Two more eggs. Ah. Uh. That bird, bird is fucking gay. They even lay no eggs. Sounds like a trap to me. Yeah, hopefully that there's not a bear around in my vicinity. Not to kill it then. The worst part about it is I won't be able to skin it. My inventory's full. All I can pick up is it. Eggs. Oh my god. What, is you've there a bear by the house? Got, no, you've got well over 10,000 stone being smelted into the furnace. And you've got a lot of cement going. Yeah. What's it to you? You're gonna need a bigger furnace. For what? I don't know. Ooh. I need a bigger furnace if I could just keep on piling it up in there. Or do they have it where it caps out on on it? I have no idea. Cause last time I know they don't have have it on um, to where it ca caps out or anything like that. Well, you know what this game <coughs> doesn't have that Minecraft does. Um, I don't know. An automatic smelting system that eats your fucking experience. Because if you do the hopper situation in Minecraft, you're not getting your experience orbs out of it. <clears throat> fucking, uh, 20 fucking PvP updates and no PvE updates in Minecraft. Go fuck yourself. I'd rather play this <laughs> game than Minecraft. Yeah, true. I'd rather play this than Minecraft. After they started with the Mine PvP... For Minecraft the for all the pussy shit. It used to didn't be that way. It only turned into a fucking virgin game into after the um, PvP... Oh, update. we got enough parts to even make another hunting rifle. We got enough parts to make another pistol, so we have four pistols. Yeah, but all phrasing aside, how are we going to get four players? Well, 
We do got Fox. There's three. We just have to find some other random person. Oh, fuck no, not a random. I mean, like a random another friend or whatever. This fucking red haze needs to go the fuck away. Yeah, Fortnite's not done yet. I mean, just in general. I don't give a fuck about it being Horde Night. This red haze needs to go the fuck away. Inhibiting my victory. Have you seen how much, um, just because forge, it's a Horde Night? Iron we got? No, I haven't looked. I mean, I've been in the chest, but I hadn't paid attention to the numbers. Just, just because it's a fucking Horde Night? Hey, fuck you too! <laughs> Hell? Something fell on the roof. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Sound like a gunshot. Well, a little bit. But anyway, just because it's fucking Horde Night doesn't mean you get the permission as a game designer or anything to put a fucking blood red field of pea soup fog shit in front of me so I can't see anything. Fuck that shit. Get it the fuck out of the goddamn game. It doesn't fucking belong. It's a fucking nuisance. Don't make it look like it's more scary or anything like that. It just... It, it just it fucking like annoys shit. me. Yeah, it makes it look like shit and it's fucking annoying. It doesn't add any other aesthetic other than, oh, look, I thought this game mechanic was cool because I'm an idiot developer. Yeah. It just shows how fucking out of touch you are with being a gamer. Kind of like with Warframe right now, how out of touch those idiots are. And you know what uh, the big yeah, fucking thing is? The, it's Fuckers. true irony, too. This situation where people are being forced into social isolation is causing DE, the developers of Warframe, to become more um, in touch with their fucking community. What's the fucking irony in that? Answer, I just fucking told everyone. Thank you, Alex Trebek. I'll take fuck off for 100. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, with all due seriousness and the, the you know, the, the sarcastic, satirical, um, sarcastic, satirical, well, there's another S word in there. It's a different form of comedy, I forgot. Sarcasm. Satire. Nope, it's a P word, parody. My mole steak. It was parody. Well, anyway, with the sarcastic satire aside, you idiots over at Fun Pills. Ditch the fucking red pea soup. Yeah, you tell them. I've told developers them, several so. things over the years. Actually, do a shit, long I time don't... ago, I used to fucking talk with the guy who was in charge of making, um... Uh, what's that fucking... Terraria. Back before they turned it over to another company. Me and another fellow were talking with the actual sole guy in charge of that game. And, you know, I gave him this speech. You know, dude, duplicating in this game, it's... 
it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Because the drop rate for some of this shit is below 1%. When your drop rate is 0.01%, expect people to duplicate because fuck that drop rate. It's our unalienable right to pursue our happiness by playing the game however the fuck we want. If you can't make a game yeah. that supports everyone's pursuit of happiness, you just don't have any fucking right or privilege being a game developer. And that's straight up what I told him. True, true. Yeah, sometime later. Um, I don't know what happened. But apparently Torf Yernstrom got to him. And he told me and the other fellow that was talking to him, fuck you guys, and we never heard from him again. Damn. So, <clears throat> you know, fast forward to now, they put out an update, the fucking Moon Lord update for console, and guess what it did? It totally deleted people's maps. And I had spent fucking six months working on one map that I had to port from their uh, proprietary cloud save system from my 360 to the Xbox One and they deleted fucking shit out of my fucking game save because they wanted to console exclusivity bullshit because they're fucking retarded and the Moon Lord update, because I fucking started streaming it and let random assholes fucking join me, it caused a file deletion to occur where it completely erased my fucking map. I spent six months on it. And it didn't Damn. let me re download it. And ever since then, I have not been able to download a, any map from the cloud servers. And this ties back to something I told a fucking Xbox uh, worker like fucking almost 20 years ago now when they told me that they were thinking about fucking uh, cloud services. I said, that w that's not going to fly. And I was right. How many, how many people have fucking used that cloud service bullshit enough for it to become mainstream and for it to actually fly? How many YouTubers have you heard promoting it? Not that I know of. Shit. I'd rather watch YouTube, though. How many people have told you about it? Like other gamers that you play with, like me. Um, I think you're the only one, actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm the only one that's told you about their cloud service bullshit, and it's in a negative light, because it is a negative thing. It's a dumb shit idea. It's a fucking cash grab idea, and in a blatantly stupid fucking brain-dead retard attempt... To marginalize the legitimate fucking efficiency and fucking mainstream a dipshit thing. Because, oh, everybody's starting research into cloud services. Maybe we should too. Well, just because you can jump off the goddamn Eiffel Tower, does that mean it's a good fucking idea? Without a parachute? Hell fucking no. Exactly. Unless you're looking to end something, then yeah, it's a good idea. Unless you're looking to become a fucking French human crepe, then, you know, it's a terrible fucking idea and you shouldn't do it. Exactly. Because that cloud service shit that I attested and fucking used doesn't fucking work. So, Microsoft, get your goddamn shit together. Yeah. Fix your fucking damn Xbox fucking assist thing with fucking jig. Remove Xbox assist. Don't fix it. 
remove it. It's a dumb fucking yeah. idea. I hate it. It's fucking annoying. Every time I start my fucking Xbox up, I gotta push the fucking P button. It just pisses people like us off. Real fucking gamers. Who the fuck uses Xbox want... Assist aside from goddamn idiot eight year olds? Seriously. Yeah, they can't fucking do their own shit. Yeah. Seriously, is there anyone legitimately who is, you know, intelligent enough? to fucking read a goddamn instruction manual who's gonna use Xbox Assist? Damn right. No, I want it. Cause I can give two fucks about the damn Xbox Assist. But anyway, as far as this modern day and age of bullshit continues to develop I find myself more and more wanting a fucking instruction manual to actually read because I'm not a fucking idiot retard who wants everything done for them by a fucking app yeah I'd rather have a fucking ma manual that, in, that comes in the Xbox fucking box telling me about the shit I'd rather have that than fucking Xbox Assist. The thing is, they'll they'll give you the bullshit thing and claim, oh, it's to save paper. Well, what about the fucking cardboard factory that made the box that the fucking Xbox itself comes in? If it's if it's environmental bullshit, then why the fuck is the Xbox still made out of plastic? Why the fuck is it still packaged in goddamn plastic? Riddle me that, Microsoft. Damn, that's too close to the damn trailer. Fucker. Anyway, their, their idea, their, their bullshit words that don't match their bullshit actions. As far as, uh, oh, we need to save the environment. We're trying to be environmentally friendly and have a, an ecological footprint bullshit. Just, I mean, seriously. It takes more pollution being produced to drive down the road one mile than it does to make paper. And you can recycle paper. So just print the fucking instruction manual properly, Microsoft. Get your head out of your fucking yeah, so ass. Yeah, so people can fucking read the shit instead of having this fucking Xbox Assist. Yeah, fuck Xbox Assist. It's a dipshit idea from an idiot in your company. Oh, it's the fucking rock. Hey man, where do feathers go again? Um, last box or at the bottom box closest to the stairs. You don't have stairs, you have a ladder. Or a ladder, I meant. Fucking not stairs. God damn it. Okay, at the bottom, there's two boxes that are closest to the ladder. In the in the ammo box. And I just died from a mine. Fuck you, mine! God damn it. We're playing with enemy spawn disabled, and we, you die from a fucking landmine. Yeah, that's brilliant yep. fucking game design. I mean, there's there's a fucking unwritten rule book that I just oh, happened to fucking God. memorize. And you know, Damn it, now I'm back down it's to fucking never kill the player on peaceful. Seriously, never fucking kill the player with RNG on peaceful. 
I mean, that's, that's just fucking common sense. It, it didn't have to be a rule, but you know how stupid Americans are, and they need a fucking legality clause for every fucking thing. They even fucking show a fucking mine over here. Fucking that shit, assholes. That shit needs to be telecasted properly. Like, it needs to be highly visible. It needs to be something we can avoid easily. Yeah, it should have like a fucking red blinking light on it or something like that. Or fucking yeah. something that shows that there's a fucking mine there. Yeah, because having absolutely nothing be there and you just fucking explode randomly yeah. is dog shit. Especially with fucking enemies disabled. Cause yeah, so even I though mean, it's it not a... the fucking mines and shit like yeah. that. There shouldn't it, be no mines in the That's exactly game. the point I'm going after. And bears shouldn't be able to fucking turn hostile and kill you in this game mode either. No, they should, they should be ju just like the regular fucking deer and fucking pigs. Yeah, neutral. And, and unless you get too close to it or shoot it with the fucking arrow. No. Then... Not on fucking enemies spawn disabled. Not on the equivalent of Minecraft peaceful. Fuck no. Eh. It's a survival crafting game, like not it. a fucking real-time strategy game. Hopefully I don't die again by a fucking mine. Yeah, and losing ten fucking wellness points every time you die. Yeah, each each fucking t time you die. Just absolutely fucking remove that mechanic from the game. Just straight up take it the fuck out. And as many times as I've ran through the wasteland biome and haven't stepped on a fucking mine and all of a sudden I'm just... Buying up the fucking iron shit, and then fucking randomly stepping on a fucking mine, and fucking blowing up. That was just a fucking pile of shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but even with that being said, I'd I'd rather play this game than to play Minecraft at all anymore. Eh, I haven't played Minecraft since I think the PS3 version. <laughs> Wait, you mean ever since they fucking made their bitch Bedrock Edition and put player versus player as a fucking game mode you have to buy in the game? Turning it into a fucking carbon copy of fucking Roblox? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, seriously, Roblox is a shit game to begin with. It's a niche thing that people use for a running gag, that's it. Don't believe me? Go fucking ask someone yourself. Ask, like, the three YouTubers in existence, and the only three who actually play the fucking game and fucking do recordings in it. They use it for the joke it is, nothing more. <laughs> well, they just use it to fuck around in there. You upgrading that to iron? Yeah. Nice. That upgrade mechanic nice. you can go from wood to iron to fucking what is it? Concrete and steel? Um for the blocks, yes. Wood, iron, concrete then. Um, polished steel that you need. Or no, it's steel, then polished steel.
Okay. Oh, so now you're upgrading it to just straight up fucking concrete. What? The house. Well, technically the entrance to your bunker. Yeah, go, go make sure it's on um, well security now. <clears throat> Plus, I'm going to bi build an off place off to this side that will take us to the roof of the house so we could, so we could climb up onto the, um, to where the farm's going to be. Someone just pulled a drive-by. You like how I said that just so calmly without freaking the fuck out? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, dude, I got another small engine. I'm up there with Rick and his his ability to not give a fuck. <laughs> Pickle Rick. Shit, I wished I had something to get pickled with. Oh, here comes the fucking snow! <laughs> it's amazing. Earlier I was close to overheating in this biome, now it's fucking snowing. Man... You know... You know how I'm not, like, super annoyed with this weather in this particular biome? So fucking weird. So fucking wonky. Like, it's, dude, it's supposed to be only fucking snowing in the fucking snow biome, not the fucking forest biome. I like how I hit that thing twice, and it didn't even register that it had a hitbox. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can see the ground turning white from the snow, but I can't see the grass turning white from the snow. <laughs> Just seriously, this game needs a massive overhaul. A massive one. Yeah. And as soon Fuck as the... To get their shit, shit going. As soon as they learn how to write a uh, an update script that they can submit for certification on console, they'll start working on that. But till then, they're just gonna have to tough it the fuck out with everyone bitching about it. You know, tough fucking shit. Oh, come on, go down the fucking ladder, motherfucker. <sighs> I just thought of something. Certain yeah, blocks have, um, they can support, like, blocks branching out to one side or the other at a certain radius, right? Yeah. So in order to support the middle of this elevated farm, I'm going to have to come through and harvest everything below it. Yep. So that you can put support pillars. Yep. That's why I haven't um done anything um with the middle yet. Good, good. Let the butt hurt for, flow through you. That's not a good sign. One of us hit the metal. Yeah. One thing I need to repair it though. Oh, do need to repair it. I spotted some lazy Minecraftian level design flaw here. Oh, what's that? This bit right here. Instead of digging that down, you 
just place the, the framework over the top of it. No, <laughs> I I see seen it and I accidentally um placed the the block there. <laughs> Well, yeah, sure. Blame the boots. Cause I was going to dig it down to make it look all all good and shit like that, and I accidentally um just fucking placed the block down and said fuck it. Uh, I've uh I've been thinking of something for a little while. Now. Oh god. It's something I've already made a video on. Uh, oh, okay, good. Yeah. Some fucking, um... I don't know what to call it, because it most certainly wasn't a legitimate person. It was more along the lines of a piece of shit. You know, one of those idiots that uh, blackmail you. Saying, uh, they'll, they'll put a fucking sex tape online with you in it if you don't send them money. Yeah, one of those little fuck faces uh, came at me on Twitter. And all the fucking, oh, nice. um... Yeah, sure, nice. All the fucking assholes that they <laughs> had at their disposal, their army of fucking 12-year-olds, started harassing me. So to all those little fuck faces, I say this: get fucking coronavirus and die, you pieces of shit. There's no place for you in reality. And YouTube, I don't give a fuck if you give me another community guideline strike. Fuck you. You've deleted three channels I've had so far. The fuck do you think I give a fuck anymore, YouTube? Go kill yourself too. <laughs> Fucking Rick Sanchez in this shit. I don't give a fuck anymore. Damn right. So just go ahead, keep pushing. There we go. I just need to make ladders for here. Okay, time to go searching for those fucking ladders now. That is a decently large amount of wood. Anyway, the the weather's turning. Uh, the weather is turning because the... You know, I'm not going to bother with the mathematics behind it all and how, you know, weather patterns actually work. I'm just going to say the weather is becoming more violent than usual because fucking... The pollution factories got shut the fuck down, basically. I don't want to doubt it. Fuck using all the big fancy fucking words and terminology I know. Just fuck it. Too many people don't understand anything I say. Including you sometimes. So fuck using all the big fancy words I know. Fuck using the, the, the actual fucking science shit. You know? Cause, nah, Damn right. Fucking... I don't know your fancy fucking words and shit like that. Yeah. Use too many of them. Nobody's gonna fucking get it anyway, so why the fuck use them? It, it's just a lockout for uh, people who aren't initiated. That's why there's an English 101 course for every fucking thing in college. Oh, if you don't use the words we use, then you're just not part of our clique. Which is a big, sounds about like them. Yeah, it, it's just a it's just same government way of saying I'm better than you because I know these words and you don't. Ha ha. Fuck your big fancy words. 
All words in all of existence are made up anyway. Suck a dick, governments. Suck a dick, college professors. Suck a dick, people who work a job that requires a fucking PhD with college fucking 101 English courses. Suck a fucking dick. Damn right. Wait, all of society in general can suck a dick as far as I'm concerned right now. Anyway, dude. Fucking humanity, holistically, just generally pisses me off. But on the yeah. rare occasion that an individual is, you know, tolerable enough to be around, ca case in point, you and me right now, <laughs> on that exceedingly fucked up rare of an occasion, Oh. Enough said. You think before you go running off like you are right now, get your ass back here. Dude, I was you think this is far enough for him? Um, okay. For, um, for the um. For the farm. How many blocks out is it? Dude, don't ask me. I don't fucking know. You're the one making this shit. You should have been counting. Yeah. Especially if you're gonna ask me if it's shit. far enough. I think the last time I said from 14 or 13 or something. Um, I'll fucking count it. Damn it. You know what? I just counted. That's wide enough. Now it's just a matter of length. Take that out of context. It's 29 wide. Yeah, that seems like it's plenty. So, 20. Then the outer perimeter is going to be raised. Then we're going to have one area that we just walk the fuck around in. And we have chests and shit with all the food stuck in it anyway. Well, technically all the crops that we're going to be growing. But food, crops, whatever. Fucking synonyms. <laughs> See... Food and crops are synonyms in that regard, but only in that context that we're actually going to be eating some, which is, you know, it just ties into me saying synonyms breed misconception, and it's the, the, the linchpin fucking hinge that all politicians and bureaucrats rely upon in order to lie to your face and pass a lie detector test. They rely on synonyms because it's the fucking American way. I know this because I've, I've studied a few other languages. Out of the few that I've studied, American is the only one it has like 15 fucking synonyms per word. True. Let me just take the word insane. Look up the word insane in the fucking Merriam-Webster's International Dictionary. Then look up the definition for all of its synonyms and uh, sub-meanings. Then look up this, the synonyms and meanings of all those. 
You'll go in a big fucking circle after you look at it. particular example because I got bored and decided to read the entirety of the English dictionary one time <laughs> and on a side note unrelated to that that supply drop appears to be in the middle of the water again yes it's a very simple if statement If terrain equals water, no supply drop. It's a very simple if statement. It's a very simple statement, yet quite unbreakable. Yeah, because why would the... Why would you fly the plane over water to drop the supply drop in the water? Answer... Only if you're supplying a submersible. Yeah, like, th but that's then a long time you should be flying over water. Yeah, but then again, they'll just go into fucking dry dock or port. It, it makes the whole point of an air supply drop or a submersible moot. Or redundant, or retarded, or stupid. Whatever the fuck synonym you want to use. All things being said, I would rather have stuff drop on the roof than to hear that fucking train come through. Or to have that train come through at all. True. I hear the train. Train. Hey. There's been two pieces of mainstream media. One is a Sherlock Holmes movie starring Robert Downey Jr. and the other is Portal 2 in which both of these have stated that people with a guilty conscience are startled by loud noises and he, was I startled by the thing dropping on the roof? was I startled by the train suddenly coming through? Not that I know. Yeah. Exactly. Yet I'll tell you to your face, murder is completely natural. Thereby, which most Americans might conclude, I am a sociopath. My answer is, fuck all of you, this planet's overpopulated and you're killing yourselves. It could be. No, it seriously is. There's signs to having a planet being overpopulated. Several, actually. They're hard-coded into what you might quantify or call, just to oversimplify that word, the source code for all of existence. Shall I explain it to you? No, I think I got, got the gist of it. How? I deal with idiots so regularly, I don't see how you can get the gist of what I said. Because I'm one of them idiots. <laughs> Thank you for substantiating my thesis. A.K.A. proving my point. Also, I killed a pig. Ooh. Hmm. 
I'm making concrete. Nice. Yeah, I'm trying try and get this, um, get this, um, somewhat the farm built, you know, up top so you could take the crops from down here and put them up there, you know. All right. I damn it, ran out of fucking concrete. I think I'm just going to use, do the rest of the stuff, like the bottom of it, in wood frames. Hopefully it holds the dirt, though. Yeah, I think we've got enough time to screw around just long enough for enough concrete to be made so that we can make the rest of it. Yeah, but I need... You want me to build it all, the whole frame out of concrete? Like, the bottom and all? Is that necessary, though? Concrete has more weight holding than the wood frame. I mean, if that that's so, then I'm gonna have to make a shit ton of concrete. Like, probably over like 10,000. 10, How many stones is that? Um. I think it's two stones per concrete mix plus I need the sand plus I'll need the stones in the concrete or the cement or whatever so um Because it's 10 per block, 10 concrete mix per block, so it's 20 stones plus, or, yeah, because it'd be, for one concrete mix, it'd be two stones, one cement mix, so it'd be 10 cement mix, or, um, cement to make 10 cement mix, and it'll be 10, 10 pieces of sand. I'm gonna have to send him a send you on this one with. Eh. Mm. Yeah. I'll, I'll use my skip later. Plus, I'll need more rebar frames. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, speaking of cinema sins, I've been going on to that guy's channel. And off every fucking recent video for the past week, I've been posting nearly the exact same comment of why don't you do the collective works of Mel Brooks, Robin Hood, Men in Tides, Young Frankenstein, etc. You know, <laughs> because I, I actually want to see that. I actually want to see, uh, you know, genuine reactions from this guy, as well as what he thinks is sin-worthy in Mel Brooks's work.
That. That would be nice, don't you think? Or have you even Hell heard yeah. of uh, things like space balls or Robin Hood men in tights? I've heard men in tights. <laughs> Is it Robin Hood men in tights or just men in tights in general? Um, Robin Hood men in tights. Okay. Had to make sure, because it's you, and you're bound to make those sorts of innuendos. Damn right. saying looting something and it says it's untouched but when you go into it it's empty yeah let's see on top of that what's my um fucking looting skill <clears throat> scavenging Level 15 out of 100. Negative uh, time to loot. Loot quality plus 16.9%. Well, it does say quality instead of quantity. So I guess we're gonna run into fucking empty goddamn shit anyway. Because hooray for RNG. Uh -huh. My scavenging's level 25. And you still run into empty fucking shit. L loot time minus 38.1. That's not the point. Here. The, the point is you still run quality. into empty fucking shit. Yep. A bunch of empty shit, actually. Speaking of random, uh, I found one of those marker stones just floating out in the middle of your world. Oh, nice. I found a couple of them, actually. I don't know what they're here for, but I'm taking this one. Or I could just I'll leave it in, as like, a sharp dagger. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna leave it right there, just like that. I like the way that looks better. It looks like a pointy stick. I got 15 points. I don't know what I should put it in. I can wait until my... I can do secret stash again. Or I could put 5 points into... learning 9mm rounds and I can make a shit ton of fucking 9mm rounds with pistols. But I want the 7.62. That's gunsmithing level 30, and my gunsmithing is level 22. Well, in order to help you with that, I have some questions first. You mind playing along? Yes. Okay. Maybe. I'm not do, sure. Do Don't snipers <laughs> have scopes in this game? The sniper rifle, yes. The hunting rifle, no. Hunting rifle doesn't count as a sniping rifle. It counts as just a okay. general fucking rifle. Or long rifle, actually. Uh, Oddly enough, so does a shotgun in real life, but that's besides the point. Um, the sniper rifle scopes have that horrible... Smell. Horrible fucking bullshit known as goddamn I'm paraplegic and can't aim for shit sway scenario going on. Yes. Well, in that case, fuck sniping rifles. Don't put any points into them. 
Um, I don't put no points into. I just no. I'm talking about the bullets, the crafting, the bullets and stuff like that. No, fuck putting points into making the bullets for sniping rifles. If the well, the bullets for for when you use two is for if, the AK-47 too. Oh, well, if when you use the fucking scope. You get the paraplegic sway back and forth like you can't fucking aim. Well, the worst shit. part about it is the fucking scope is fucking shit anyways. It looks like fucking dirt's all up on it and shit like that. I mean, if you can't even get that cleaned off, then why the fuck use a sniping rifle in this game at all? Yeah, it's like it's like it, it'd be way better just to use a fucking hunting rifle. Yes, the sniper rifle has five or four more rounds in the fucking chamber than a hunting rifle. But, I mean, you're better off using the fucking hunting rifle to fucking pop shit. If scopes are gonna be pathetic in games, then fuck scopes in games. I've, I've held guns in real life. I've used scopes in real life. I can keep a steadier fucking hand with a gun in real life than a fucking military trained character in a goddamn Call of Duty game. Fuck scopes in games. Fuck yeah, gun sway in games. Fuck bullet spread in games. I have no military training, yet I'm better in real life than these games portray a person with advanced military training and a fucking record of confirmed kills and black ops. Fuck games that do that shit. Oh, they go, oh yeah, um, we, we made it like real life. Uh, oh, no, fucking that's shit. not realistic at all. And the only possible way I can think that that's realistic is if I'm fucking quadriplegic. Yeah, for a damn much. <laughs> oh, fucking out of concrete again. God and even it. then, I can keep my neck steady. And that fucking bullshit, hold your breath to aim better with a scope in a game? Fuck that mechanic, too. That's something that only pros use in real life for extreme long distance shots. Yep. Best of my knowledge, that's the only scenario that's ever been And that's in the Olympic fucking sporting events. That's not even actual hunting. That's not even actual fucking wartime. Most of the time, when a sniper is shooting someone with his sniping rifle or his DMR, dedicated marksman rifle, he's not holding his breath, he's breathing out. And yep. I know, because I've had fucking friends in the military who I've talked to about this shit. Hell, I've even had a, a fucking next door neighbor that was ex CIA until he got recalled into active service. Then they put him in a deep cover up and gave him a fucking, uh, he died story cover up. <laughs> Complete with funeral and everything. Damn. Yeah, I know. It sucks being, it's a bitch getting reassigned, isn't it? Damn right. Especially when one of your neighbors is an ignorant fucking child and blows your cover by asking a stupid question. I looked at fucking the idiot that asked him. Or if question. your neighbor runs over your blueberry bu bush and thinks it's a weed. Yeah, when it's clearly got fucking shit around it in a fucking circle that marks it as a. That not that the universal fucking sign for I planted some shit here? There's stuff around it. 
that's in a fucking pattern? Isn't that the fucking universal gardening sign for this has been planted? Don't run it the fuck over? Yeah. Shit, everybody fucking knows that. Yeah. I don't and have only to a kill him. True idiot wouldn't fucking know that. <laughs> I don't have to kill this fucker. I don't have to, like you suggested. I don't have to, even though I would greatly like to. I don't have to. All I have to do is wait and watch. Cause if the coronavirus doesn't kill his fucking ass, World War Three really fucking. Cause I already know what exactly is gonna happen. I already know. And that's not just from me being told by the people who fucking have it. This is from me looking into the future and seeing for myself what the fuck is going to happen. Ow. That was a giant ass drop. Luckily I didn't break my leg though. Now this entire expositionary bullshit rant. I've been moving slowly, mind you, slowly, back towards base. I have yet to encounter another aminal. <laughs> Good news! I need to fucking fix that shit. I just picked up a first aid schematic. Oh, I already know that. Well, in that case, I'll, I'll just go ahead and read it. Yeah, I think you already know it too, I'm not for sure. Speak of the devil, and one shall appear. What? There's a deer. Oh, they were talking about a bear or something like that. Did I hit him? Oh, boy. Uh, apparently I didn't. That's typically how it goes, though. Oh, swing and a miss, and then a swing and a hit. Ah, fuck yeah. I got lucky. He got stuck on a rock. Oh, fucker. <laughs> Who, me or him? You. You always get the fucking lucky ones where they get fucking stuck. I always get the fucking shitty ones that fucking jump over a fucking hill and then, then fucking disappear. I don't always get the fucking luck shots. Especially when, um, fucking, I, I shoot him like fucking three or four fucking times and he still don't fucking drop. Then I always run out of fucking energy. Yeah, not only do the graphics, the UI, g generally the whole fucking game need an overhaul and update, but the controls are, um. They're fucking. Clunky. Seriously clunky. God damn it, get out of the fucking damn hole, motherfucker. Damn. The bitch don't know how to get out of the fucking hole. I, I, I'm gonna choose to ignore the context of this situation and say giggle. <laughs> Fucking going down to. I was not trying to go down to the bunker. Fucking. It wanted me to go down to the bunker. And the times I do want to go down to the fucking bunker, fucking. It don't want me to go through the damn door. Or the fucking. The fucking hatch. Or whatever the hell you want to fucking call it. 
You know what else, or rather, who else knows that you want to do that thing and would actively prevent you from doing that thing and doing the opposite instead? What's up? Yourself. <laughs> and that's just a roundabout, psycho fuck, joking way of saying... Problem isn't with the uh, the apparatus. It's it's the problem between the the s steering wheel and the seat. Damn right. You're agreeing with me that you're the problem here. <laughs> that you're in your own way. You <laughs> damn right. <laughs> That's a shocker. You're the first fucking human in a long ass goddamn time to agree with me on that. Hey, if I fuck up, I fuck up. It's, it's my, my own fucking problem. It's nobody else's fucking problem that I fuck up. Congratulations. You're, you're the first not like person the rest, in a not very like the long rest of the time. fucking world where they go, oh, it's not my fault. I didn't do that. You're the first person in a very, very long time to actually admit the fucking truth. Congratulations. Dude, I hate when pe people fucking blame other people. Oh, he did He did it. Oh, no, you mean like the fucking bureaucrats and politicians are doing right now with the coronavirus in China? Yep. Fucking. Yeah. Oh, They're... the China people di did it. The government no. covered it up. They didn't. They, oh, they wanted to claim that it was to keep people from panicking. Oh, they wanted to claim it was to, to blah 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 and all the other bullshit reasons that you you fucking don't admit the truth because you're fucking afraid that you don't have any control and people are gonna realize that. That's the fucking truth behind all this bullshit going on and all the finger pointing. Americans are pointing yep. the finger at China because they're afraid to lose what little fallacy, circle jerk of, of a feeling of false power and control they have when they never had it to begin with. The Chinese government was afraid to admit the fucking truth that this virus got out back, uh, you know, four months before December of 2019 because they were afraid that uh, the fucking ramifications would include a fucking uh, world war, which it will because they were afraid and didn't admit the truth to begin with. When you do the thing that you're afraid of doing because you're afraid, it makes that fear come to reality. And that's only true with humans. Only with humans. I've learned that through... Well, in this current physical body I'm in, that's 32 years of observation. It's epi- it's not epidemic, it's fucking- Oh, what's that goddamn word that humans are so fondling themselves over? In the academic society. Oh yeah, academic. It's fucking academic. Another fucking fallacy word that was made up so that one group could, you know, say we're better than you, fake power over everyone else. Because they're afraid of not I'm being scum. in control. Because they aren't in control of themselves, because they never fucking learned self control. That's why humanity's afraid of every goddamn thing. Goddamn. Any fucking. Iron, crazy. Iron? Did you say iron? Yeah, the raw iron or whatever they get from the fucking rocks. I have 167 of that. Yeah, both both of the fucking iron forges are fucking out. Well, that just goes to show. How much, uh, iron... I think you should start making some meat stew. 
So we can get rid of some of these fucking bottles of water. We don't want to get rid of the bottles of water. We just want to be able to recycle them properly. <laughs> Which is why we made a yeah, fucking shit ton. Dude, I can make a shit ton of fucking more of fucking bottles of water. And the farm's coming along. After seeing my desert, you know, I can't fucking even attempt to appropriate some sort of bullshit half-assed response to that that goes against it. Well, I'm not even gonna attempt to yeah, do that. For the for the desert, um, yeah, you don't want a shit ton of fucking bottle of water and. Now I'm just saying. You know, we go to the desert, we get a, bit, a fuck ton of sand, we can make enough glass. No fucking problem. So there's no reason for me to even attempt to think of a response against what you said. Because it's pointless. Goddamn, it takes 12 fucking... fucking dirt fragments to make fucking dirt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Here's the thing. I haven't tested the dirt fragment to dirt ratios to see if it is a sustainable renewable resource mechanic because we well, have to use. Well, I need to make dirt fragments over up I know, here. I know. I know. To put dirt up yeah, here. dude. I know. I haven't tested to see if we can, you know, generate fucking dirt in order to compensate for the fact that we have to use dirt to get seeds for fucking mushrooms. Which is fucking crazy, like, dude, you shouldn't have to fucking have fucking dirt or whatever to fucking make mushroom seeds. Well, the thing is, I wouldn't mind it if we had a way of renewing our supply of dirt. The only way I could think of renewing our dirt supply is... Do traders even deal in dirt? Mm, no, I don't think the traders um, give dirt or anything. I know traders give fertilizer, though. No, nope. Can we even like use you, fertilizer you in place of dirt for making mushroom seeds? No, fertilizer is to upgrade the plots. So you upgrade the plots to produce more, like, what is it? Two potatoes per pl plant? Thing is, it should be like five or um, six, to be honest. Five or six well, potatoes. Well, yeah, to be honest, it, yeah, it should be th that many fucking potatoes per By fucking default, plant. Not with tilled soil that yields more, not with fertilizer that makes it yield more, but by default. It's base level mechanic yeah, it should be five or six. Because a, a, a fucking potato plant don't fucking grow fucking just that, that many fucking potatoes. Like, I mean, come on. <laughs> you mean they that don't few? grow only fucking two. Like, I, what what does a potato plant normally yield in actual real life? Uh, upwards of like depends on the growing conditions, but on average, upwards of seven. On average, yeah, somewhere between five and seven. So, when we planted in regular fucking so or tilled soil, we should be yielding that much. Now, if we do fertilizer, we should be yielding twice as much. Because that, that's what they, they d do for this. You, you yield two potatoes um, for t tilled soil, then if it's in fertilizer, you yield four.
and it, it shouldn't be that few. Just not at all. And corn you yield was it three or tilled and I forget what you yield um and potatoes or um corn in it. I know I think I think if you plant it in untilled soil you do I think Thing, if I'm correct, I think it's it's one or untilled. Nice. I think it's is it two or three for um t um tilled Well, I made some meat stew, and, uh, Viva La Dirt League, we're gonna be eating glass tonight. Eh, really at least our wellness like will shoot up even more. Um, I got some, I got some dirt up here if you want to till it and, um, and throw some plants up here now, now you can. We lose the yeah, glass what? jars when we make these damn things. Yeah. Same as um, cornbread. <clears throat> I mean, it could be worse. I mean, it, yeah, it, it could, could take, be worse. Take two or three. Yeah, it, it, it could take, two take or three more fucking than one glass jar jars. of water. Yeah, it could take. Because more. I mean, you're 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 making meat stew. So I mean, you're making. But see, the the worst part about it is you sh you should be able to actually produce more than one meat stew. Because, I mean, if you're making meat stew, you're not gonna make it in a fucking little ass fucking bowl. You're gonna make a fucking shit ton of meat stew. Well, <clears throat> looking at it that way, it should get 50% fullness. Instead of a measly 27. I mean, its baseline should be fucking 50% full. Yeah, especially, and what it should do is it should bring your water up, too. Yes. That should be plus 30, the fullness should be plus 50, and the wellness, I'm fucking fine with it at 1.6. You know, instead of other yeah, YouTubers who say, oh, it should be changed to where it's better. Yeah, fuck you idiots, you know who the fuck you are. I'm actually giving fucking numbers and percentages. Go fuck yourselves. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Did you fall? You down the hole again. No, I didn't fall in the hole. I fucking... <laughs> I was walking and fucking just... Just decided to fucking just say fuck it, go down the hole. <laughs> Where's the coffee at? I don't fucking know. Dude, here's the one that does the fucking farming.
Okay, I'll just stick the coffee seeds up in here. Fuck. I Dude, we got made any coffee. Of fucking corn. Yeah, that's only half of the corn we used to have. The other half is seeds. Yeah. Alright, now you've there, got there meats the... too. Anyway. So what are we doing with this animal hide? Nothing? Uh, storing it until we need it for something, basically. Yeah. Alright. I want to turn it into leather. Is that the only real use it has when you make it into leather? And then use it for something else? Um... Yeah, pretty much. So there's no reason for us to I... leave it as animal hide. Um, you you can leave it as animal hide to to do the bellows, or you, you got animal hide poncho, animal hide leg armor, you got animal hide armor, but like it's really not worth doing it for the armor. Practically, in a in a real scenario for playing the game, we're not going to wear animal hide anything, are we? No, um, you're really going to be wearing the iron, iron shit. That's what you need the leather for. Because I actually was going to start crafting, um, some iron... Cause I could, I think I can make the full set. Iron boot, iron chest armor, iron gloves, iron leg armor. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I don't got the iron helmet, but I'm not gonna wear a fucking iron helmet. Goddamn, we started playing at like fucking three and now it's about fucking... We've been playing for an hour and a half now. Mm -hmm. Two hours. Yeah. We're closing I in on the two hour mark. Shit. I mean, yeah, th this craft is gonna be... Armor because, like, my Your armor skill with making it. That... Yeah, it's fucking shit right now, but I mean, at least having somewhat decent um, armor and shit, it'll fucking actually help out a little bit more. To be honest, I, I think the iron stuff, like, if you brush up against a fucking cactus, it shouldn't hurt you. Um, dude, because you... just wearing basic fucking blue jeans and a t-shirt brushing up against a cactus in real life, it doesn't hurt you. Oh, there's the two-hour marker. Remember to take a break. Eh, fuck you, game. I'll remember to take a break whenever I remember to take a break. Did it kick you out of the game? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. Hopefully it don't fucking kick me out of the fucking game yet. Gosh. In a game that kicks you out of playing it every two hours. Hmm. Hmm. That is is every is about three hours I think. That that kick kicked me out um last time I think. So when you, when you and Fox played, did it kick you out or, or anything like that? Or did you guys not play for that long? Uh, it did. Oh, it kicked you guys out too? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I need to get their shit fucking fixed. Yeah, most definitely.
But at this point, I mean, even if they, like, go and, you know, ask someone to help them, and there's plenty of people who can, I mean, I can give, like, two examples just off the top of my head of people, one of which I, I fucking spoke to, and the other just is a YouTuber, of people who can help these guys write the code they need to write to, to update the game. Yeah, but they're not gonna do that kind of shit. They don't fucking care, care about updating the game right now. It's all a fucking joke to them, that's about it. Now, if it were a joke, they wouldn't have bothered to get the rights back to uh, the console versions anyway. The, the reason they're not going to do it is because they're afraid. Same as every last fucking human in existence. The reason humans do and think what they do is because they're afraid. God damn it, we're in all fucking concrete again. The fuck? I know I've got, like, spirits of, uh, cats, cats, past pet, whatever, friend, I don't, I don't fucking know anymore. I've got spirits of fucking animals walking around inside my fucking house, trailer, place I'm in, whatever, fuck, birds, inside this place. Goddamn. Yeah, no. Oh, fuck. There's nothing wrong with that. Better than fucking having a demon, like, fucking hover over you all the damn time. That should be fucking annoying. I need something to drink. Bitch, thirsty. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking die of thirst. I like how Fox was like, um, I can't, I can't eat fast enough. It's like, you gotta give the game time to process. No, it's the animation. You have to let the animation finish. Well, that's what I'm meaning. Under process. No. Processing is the hardware's job. The game is software, dude. Big fucking difference. Eh, I don't care. <laughs> I gave like two. I gave three fucks about that one. You gave three fucks. Yeah, three fucks. And I'm not hungry. God. Why only three? Because Ooh. four is too many. Like I said before, humanity's fallacy of the rule of three, so let it be. You assholes, you really love fucking rhymes and shit. There, choke on it. <laughs> that's, I think that's the first time I've heard that. Heard what? The rule of three or whatever. Well, except for, um... Poison Ivy. Are you 
talking about what, the Batman villain? Wait, so third villain? three, leave it a B. Oh. No, like, Poison Ivy, Poison Oak, and stuff like that. Oh. If it's Leafs of three, um, leave it be. Well, you know, that's kind of an irony, because I actually used Poison Oak or Poison Ivy. Well, I've actually used both. But they're... They're a well-avoided beauty treatment, to be honest. It fucking rejuvenates the skin. Yeah. Um, I don't get affected by poison oak or poison ivy. Damn. So like, I'll I'll, I'll walk I'll walk I'll walk into the shit and stuff like that, and I don't give two fucks about it. You mean you oh won't God. even give a single fuck? Yeah, one of the two. Oh boy, a bit glitchy. Just be ready for it to kick us. Hey, as soon as it does that, I'm ending the, the streamy bit here. Yeah. I'm probably just rambling on about stupid shit. Well, the end of the human species as we know it. Is not really stupid. It's kind of a celebratory occasion. So mostly because the governments of the world have uh, they've used fucking interplanetary travel to go off and actually commit genocide on a galactic scale. I've had this technology for the last few years. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. Where do you think all the world's nuclear armaments go? You don't think they keep those fucking programs making that shit just for the fucking health benefits, do you? Hell no. What about that fucking Twitter post that had a picture of a Borg cube near the fucking sun that apparently, allegedly came from a leak in the science community? Hey, don't ask me, hell, I don't fucking know. Well, spoiler, the Borg were real until humanity fucking dropped a goddamn nuke on them. Along with several other species that are now extinct throughout the galaxy. Even more spoilers, the Borg are not as depicted in Star Trek. They're not a hellish <laughs> fucking entity hell-bent on the assimilation of other cultures. They could give two fucks about assimilating the human species. Actually, they could give a fuck at all. They don't. Or didn't. Sorry. Time travel. Bandit. Daddy issues? Don't daddent. Daddy didn't. wasn't there! I'm trying to conjugate, you know, multi-tense uh, verbology for temporal <laughs> uh, compensation <laughs> here, but in, in all seriousness... Yeah, yeah, I, I could, uh, I know a guy, and I could do it myself. I could bring the fucking Borg back, or I could just go back in time and fucking tell him, hey, this shit's gonna happen, and here's how to avoid it, and they, they would still exist right now. Am I? Fuck no. I'm not gonna put them through the, the horror of facing humanity, having to hide from the human species, because humanity's a bunch of bitches. I'll wait and just bring them the fuck back. Same with the end. So you'll start planting on top of the um, roof? Well, is that ready? Is that done? Um, partial of it's done, actually. Hey, where are Ooh, fuck, what I, I think I got dark. like a hundred, I got a hundred some, um, plots up here, I think, or dirt thing with jigs up here. I just had to wait, wait for fucking more concrete. I 
Oh god damn it, man, I'll fucking concrete again. <laughs> There's a lot of this game's crafting that is the wait timer. Yeah. Especially crafting when you want to make a... Shit. <coughs> Especially when you want to make just like a... A normal fucking thing. Not even a mega base. Just a normal sized thing or a small one like what we're doing. This is small. <laughs> By the way, everybody, this is fucking small. It requires a fuck ton of ingredients and a long fucking waiting time. I'm okay with the amount of uh, stuff it takes to make this right now. Maybe that'll change later, pending the fucking regenerative capacity of the maps. Which sorely needs to be a thing. But what I'm not okay with is the fucking wait timers. I mean, it, this isn't a mobile game. We don't need wait timers. We don't want wait timers. Yeah, just craft the damn shit for us already. Yeah, I mean, we've got the, we've went and collected the ingredients. That's a long enough wait timer as is. We don't need more on top of that. It's not a fucking mobile game. I don't give a shit about whatever idea you had in your head. Whoever you are making this game, I don't give a fuck what you think. Wait timers don't even need to exist in mobile games, okay? It's not a good mechanic. It's a bitch mechanic to pad out the runtime of your game because you're a poor programmer and a horrible designer. That's the fucking truth of it. If you don't like it, go fucking kill yourself. I don't give a fuck. Because I know an entire species, like three entire species, two of which can be fucking resurrected from the extinction they've been put through, who can remake this game the way I fucking tell them to, and will be glad to remake it the way I tell them to. You're a human, whoever the fuck you are making this game. You don't fucking matter. Don't like that truth? I don't fucking care. And they could go right in the hole. And as far as me, this physical body may be human, but I the fuck am not. Which also ties into why I like these peaceful style, you know, survival crafting games. Yeah, I like them too. Especially without no zombies. I'm so used to playing with um, zombies on. Like, this is actually pretty nice. Yeah. I take my sweet ass time to build exactly. a fucking base. I get no, to actually... I get to actually make it how I want it made instead of fucking have to repair the shit that I already fucking did. And scramble for something in a matter of like minutes instead of, you know, taking your time and enjoying it. But that's why this game has the option to turn the enemy spawns off. So that you can take your fucking time and enjoy it. And that's what a lot and, I mean, of fucking at, idiots yeah, yeah, don't after I get. Get, get my shit all fucking up and stuff like that. I'll turn fucking zombies on. I'll I'll go fuck up some zombies and shit like that. I'm not so sure but, that I would make that choice. Especially especially new. Well, I mean like later on, like with getting the ammo and stuff like that. Or I'll just go fuck up a deer or something like that with the AK-47. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That, that is not Ray. I 
Because I gotta wait for this other shit to get done to to build more this way. I s oh, dude, I just I don't know what to say about this. This rebar here, after you turn it into a uh, concrete, is this um edge of the dirt gonna smooth uh, over next to it and smooth out or is it gonna stay jagged like this? Ow! Broke my fucking leg. Fell down the fucking ladder. Oh, sweet! I got achievement. Break your leg. <laughs> uh, that's the third time you've broken a leg and only the first time you got the achievement? <laughs> yeah. Game, you're a little bit behind the, 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 the progress here. <laughs> Maybe I just sprained my, my my leg the other times, and now I'm extra slow. Oh God! Except for up the ladders. Um, you know, let me make my way over there. Um, no, it does not smooth out like that. It always stays like that. Hmm. Okay. Which is, which is kind of weird, because uh, I kind of wish it did smooth out to make it where it was actual fucking block. Yeah, and speaking of blocks, this outline, I would like for it to be a toggleable option to keep it constantly there when I'm holding something that can be placed, or to have it uh, turned off entirely. sake of decent mechanics, you know? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Cause there's a lot of guesswork going on right now. Am I placing it where I want it to be placed? And that's all the dirt fragments I could place. Good. That'll do for now. No. Until I get more concrete. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. For now. You just stay focused on getting the, um the the uh, platform built and I'll I'll take care of uh, making the dirt and you know collecting it and making it and putting it up here and, and farming everything sounds good to me all oh, I'm gonna be out and about in the world with my broken leg mining these rocks and stuff like that in these fucking rock piles up out of here. Plus I, I need the rock and roll iron that I could get from it. Is it? Should be about five o'clock. Hey. They're decently on cue with that one. It's four fifty five. About five o'clock, as you said. Yeah, because I think last time I checked my phone it was 
four fifty or something like that. I wish the tools didn't fucking um break so easily though. Honestly, I look at it in terms of uh, you know once your skill with what repair and uh, with that particular tool equipment or weapon type reaches a hundred. It should suffer zero durability plus. Because you spent the time to max out one or two separate um, grind meters, basically, that are specifically regarding that item. Yeah, because my, um... My tool smithing knife can make a hundred eighty four. We're talking about the durability level on the tools, not the actual level of the skill itself. Yeah, the durability or whatever you want to call it. I didn't even pay attention. To most of what this game calls it, because it's just in survival craft games, it's just universal. Why the fuck call it what one specific game calls it? True. It's like playing, uh, an MMO or something that that's MMO-esque like Warframe and calling experience Affinity you know, like they do in Warframe. Fuck it. It's goddamn experience. I'm just gonna keep calling it experience because that's what the fuck it is. Yeah. Like, I thought that was hilarious that Warframe calls it um, Affinity. It's like, um... It's experience. There, that's all you need to put, or, or for sure, short put EXP. Everybody knows what EXP yeah. is. EXP experience. If you don't want to fucking, if you don't want to fucking spell it out all the way, just put EXP. Or everybody XP. knows what that fucking is. Or yeah, XP. Anybody who's played World of Warcraft or fucking Fallout, any of the Fallouts knows what EXP, Experience, XP is. Anybody who's played yeah. any of those games, and there's there's like a whole fucking bucket list of other games. There's, there's a metric fuck ton, as far as I can recall, of other games that are MMO-esque or use an experience gaining system. Even Ratchet and Clank, yeah, like which wasn't... Duty. Which wasn't a fucking MMO. Yeah, Call of Duty, that one wasn't a fucking MMO. And it used an experience system. And, th this, and then fucking Warframe goes, oh, let's do, um, Affinity. Yeah, it's it was a nice idea. It was all niche and novel and shit, but it's just experience. I assure you gave the wheel a new paint job, but it's still just a fucking wheel. Dude, I can't believe it hasn't kicked us yet. Well, that's where you and Bender have a great disagreement. Especially with how quickly and slowly you choose to believe in things. Because robots can believe that things are or are not much quicker than you. <laughs> I know. Wipe my shiny metal ass. It was a convoluted <laughs> way to go about a simple reference. But Bender's a convoluted guy. Hey, Bender's a fucking badass guy. He's one of my favorite characters. 
Well, he is a lot better than Philip J. Fry. Fry's a fucking retard. <laughs> he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> Even though he's the main character, so to speak, he's a fucking idiot. He's a retard. He's a Especially when he gets gets all that fucking money and shit like that. Yeah, he bought every fucking item at an auction. Yeah, <laughs> even the fucking what was it? C can of sardines and fucking yeah. Uh, the what can was of sardines. Name? Mom or whatever. Yeah, mom. Oh, oh mom he, wanted he knows them. everything. <laughs> he doesn't know shit, mom. You're fucking overreacting. He's an idiot. <laughs> then at the end, yeah, when I mean... he said, "I'm gonna eat them." She's totally cool with it. Doesn't give a fuck about giving him his money back. She keeps it. Thus, more yeah. <laughs> solidifying even more how much of an evil bitch she is. Well, not evil. How much of a corrupt bitch she is. Yeah. The worst part about it is, I mean, he's a complete fucking idiot. Like, <laughs> there's, there's nothing to really even fucking say about that shit. <laughs> Fry is a representation of the atypical and averaged, mathematically averaged. You can ask uh, Matt Groening, he, he'll tell you. Everyone in the department, not department, it, everyone he was working with on Futurama, The Simpsons and everything, they will tell you, they use their fancy-ass applied physics PhDs and shit to mathematically calibrate the average fucking idiot American. And that's what Fry is based on. Same with Homer. Yeah, Homer is a fucking idiot. <laughs> so, thing about it is... If you're gonna make a chart going from evil to good and use that bullshit binary functionality and put characters on a slider in between those two, Fry is just straight up fucking evil. Bender is straight up fucking good. And Mom is off the chart straight up fucking corrupt. Oh, you damn right. Fucking charging people outrageous fucking sh money for fucking the shit and stuff like that, and and you're not even mentioning just the squid stealing. worm. You remember that one? Mom's iPhone, where they literally oh, yeah, shoved yeah. it inside your eye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> An That's army of between hilarious. one million and two million zombies. I give you the twit worm. Yeah, Leela's a sexy um alien, or um sexy um sewer. Mutant. Yeah. And she's not living in the sewer, so you can't say she's a sewer mutant. It's the prefix sewer implies place of residence in this particular scenario and case. Alright, fine. She's a mutant. And even if you want to get technical, whoever random viewer you may be, <clears throat> game theorist, I'm looking at people like you. Sewer mutants did not originate from the sewer. They originated from the bowels of the land ship Titanic that crashed and plummeted into the sewer, so fuck you. <laughs> you tell them. I, I just, I don't care. I am the Rick Sanchez of YouTube now. Fuck all of you, I don't care. None of you are special, you're all gonna die. Morty said this, now I am. Fuck all of you, I don't care. I'm bored, fuck off. Just give me a, good, a few months, I'll go get some forest iron. Uh, this is how much forged iron we have right now. 2,489 forged iron. 
Nice. Well, I have 500 on me. Even so. Nice. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do with the forest iron, though. <laughs> I don't know why. And this is also going to confound you. The reason I don't know why. The reason I decided to share it with you. But... The randomest thing just ran through my mind at that moment. Guess what it was? Um, I don't know. Do I Puka want to know, though? Funny Love. Puka Funny Love? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? What the fuck was that going right through your mind? I don't fucking know. I didn't question it. I just accepted that it happened. It exists. It's a thing. <laughs> and I went with it. Because I'm not some dumb human American bitch who has to question every fucking thing and be afraid of it. So what? Some random thought ran through my head. It's not the end of the fucking world. Yet. That we know. Tell you what the end of the world actually is. World War Motherfucking 3. Or the coronavirus. Or both. From right now, it looks like it's going to be both. Three. <laughs> both and neither is always an option. Don't forget that. When some jackass presents you with a binary function and says choose, you can say both or neither. Yeah. And you can just straight up punch the bastard in the face and say, fuck you, I don't care. That's always an option. Dude, I still can't believe it hasn't kicked us yet. I can. Maybe they fixed it. <laughs> no, I'm gonna go with no. Yeah, I know, I know that. <laughs> just, just fucking around. <laughs> There's the canned goods. And there's the that. Ah! There's the that that I wanted to find. What were you looking for? The place where you stored the honey. Oh, that's in the um, medical chest. It's because a little late for telling for me now, because I've already found it. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> you could've asked. Why ask and be lazy when I can build memory with repetition by searching for it over and over again? Which may seem That's redundant, retarded, or stupid to some people, but to those people I say, fuck you, uh, uh, I do uh, things my way. Yeah, but... Most of the time, you, you go, where do you put this hat? <laughs> well, the thing is, I like to mix shit up and keep everyone confused. <laughs> if I'm not keeping people confused and wondering what the fuck is going on, just to keep them on their toes and, you know, make them sentient and awake and aware of their existence, you know, self-awareness, basic sentience. If I'm not doing my job and making people, f you know, think, just basically fucking use the goddamn piece of gray matter between their fucking skulls, and that is technically accurate. True. I need to fucking... Like, I'm not doing my job. There's so many ways of actually enhancing your brain, but nobody wants to do it. Uh, correction, no American wants to do it because they're lazy. Or, well, yeah, that. I mean, if, if I could, uh, I would. Shit, I wouldn't mind that. Y you can. So do it. 
Yeah, but you know, I'm lazy. <laughs> Fucking <Selectively> American. lazy. <laughs> Hey, I'm lazy on my days off. It's <laughs> a total Garfield. Damn right. It's like, I hate work days. 90% of your days are work days. You must hate being alive. Well, see, um, why I wasn't on earlier was because I was doing the fucking shocks and, um, Valve cover gasket um, on my vehicle. Then I wasn't on last night because I was burning wood or I was having like a kind of little fire outside. Having a fire outside while drinking some, some beer. I just, I still don't like, I don't think I'll change my position on that. American beer, it, it just seems disgusting to me. I drink Corona. You would say that. Or I'll drink, um, what's the German beer? Um, fuck. I want to say lager. Well. No, it's I also with H. I also think Jaeger. Um, yes, I do love love some good old Jaeger. I forget the name of the damn fucking beer. It comes in a green bottle. Heineken is not German. Oh, uh, is it not? No. Uh, um, my stepdad says it's German. What's Heineken then? I think it's in the same category as Dos Equis. I don't know what that category is in. Oh my fucking god. It's literally in. You know, never mind. You'll, you'll either get it or it'll face fuck you. Like a topographical map of Utah. Yeah, probably. I doubt it. Heineken is not German. It moved production from Amsterdam to Zoeterwood in South Holland. So it went from being Amsterdamium, which is not German to begin with, to being South Hollish. Hmm. In 1975 is when it moved to South Holland. As such, Heineken is Dutch. Okay, South Holland is Dutch. Which is still not German. Okay. So it's, and its subsidiaries well, it's are Mexican, beer, Jamaican, Haitian, Italian, English, Irish, Bulgarian, American, and as of recently, Ecuadorian. This article was published <laughs> in June 18th. Not, not June 18th. June 28th, 2019. Heineken is not German. Even though the Dutch area is close to Germany, Dutch is not Germany. Dutch is Dutch. And uh, Amsterdam is definitely not fucking Germany. And neither is uh, Zoeterwood in South Holland. So anyway, yeah. Isn't Amsterdam um, any or someone by by England or whatever? I it's a bit further that, south than that, but yeah, it's in the general vicinity of the same Europe Asian nations that you're speaking of. Yes, which is a really big yeah. fucking area. See, you're not wrong. I won't fault you on that one. You're just not accurate. Well, it's been fucking ages a since you look at a map. Since I've... Yeah, I know. Yep. <laughs> I haven't looked at a map in years. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you on that, and I can still tell you 
it's a bit further south and uh, east from the point of uh, the United Kingdom. I know that it's kind of like somewhere over by like France or whatever or fucking France somewhere on that bit closer. I'm going to say France is a bit closer. I could be wrong. But anyway, uh, Heineken is uh, apparently Dutch in production. Amsterdamian in origin. And uh, it has a subsidiary that's Mexican. I'm going to... I'm going to say its subsidiary might include Dos Equis. But that's just wishful thinking on my part. Anyway, man. Uh, you and I both learned something new today. Heineken is not German. It's Amsterdamian in origin, and it's Dutch in production. Yeah, which is... I didn't, I didn't even fucking really know that shit. But yeah, well... This is true. You always, you always learn something new in the day. Well... In the massive hypothetical if scenario that you live as many billions of fucking millennia as I have, you'll actually start giving a fuck to research obscure topics like this. Because it's pretty much the only damn thing you'll ever have. Random assortments of knowledge. Yeah, I, tr that I try are... to research search a lot of stuff, but like, sometimes I go, eh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> When it comes to researching things, I rarely go, eh, fuck it. Unless it's just genuinely not worth researching. There are a few subject matters well, that's, that are that's, genuinely that's not worth That's what I'm meaning, like, this, this stuff I, I, like, I've researched, like, some stuff and I go, I go, eh, I should have already known that. Like, on the, on the shit that fucking, like, you should already fucking know, like, it's just like, eh, yeah, fuck. <laughs> I should have known that, that from the get-go. That's very different from saying, eh, yeah, fuck. Yeah, my term is a, is, is a bit different. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. This is going to be a shit ton of fucking concrete. Probably going to be needing more than fucking 10,000 concrete just to do this shit, let alone. Let alone fucking extending it even farther out. I might extend it farther out this way, I think. How much further out? Um, you said we need a hundred length long. Oh, I thought the ground was fluctuating, but it was just your lighting on the ground that made it look like it was fluctuating. Oh. <laughs> Always had the fucking, um... The headlamp on with the binding helmet. Oh, this is going to be a huge ass fucking garden. Just there's, for two people? Shit, there's a difference be a lot of fucking between food. a garden and a farm. 
granted at the baseline they're the exact same thing only the only difference is in size but this is a farm because of its size yeah once I get it all built yes it'll become a farm it's a little, it's kind of a garden right now and I'm not well, going to argue the semantics and say, oh, uh, a farm is different because it has food and a garden is just plants you grow just because they look pretty. No. That's semantics. Actually, there, there's, like, a farm and a garden is still the same thing. I mean, yes, you can you can have a farm with um, animals and stuff like that, but that's a different type of farming. But there, there's farms that don't have animals that are still called a farm. Again. That's just semantics, which I'm not going to bother with. Semantics are one of those dipshit subject matters. And dipshit uh, fucking human research and development shits of psychology that are just... You know, after I studied them, I was like, this is complete bullshit. Fuck this, and fuck whoever made it up. Fuck semantics, oh, and fuck people who again. use them. Oh, were the, um, the mushrooms ready to harvest? Uh, most of them were. There was like one patch, I think, that uh, wasn't ready yet when I was down there. I'm at 115 on wellness again. Hey. Fucking landmines. Yeah. It's that landmine thing in general. Just that, that needs to go the fuck away altogether in this game. Fucking damn right. Fucking pisses me off. And my broken leg needs to fucking heal up. Have this damn thing on for fucking ever. How many more minutes do I got of this? 42 minutes. Dude, at least it's not more realistic and it makes you wait like a fucking month. Couple days. Yeah, but realistically, the, the stuff that you jump off and, um... Hey, don't break your leg and stuff like that when in real life it should. Like. So you gonna make any goldenrod tea or we not we don't have enough goldenrod yet. I don't know. I haven't counted it. I know that it's there, I just don't know how much of it is there. So we're not just... Nope. Oh, there it goes. It's kicking us. It's kicking us! <laughs> and... There it is. Oops. <laughs> Now it's tell, time to tell the guys to fuck off. Mm, Suck it easy. Yeah. Until next time, fuck right on off.